This is a special news, uh, Miss SVG News Package, and I must tell you that our presenter tonight is not Mr. Khalil Cato. <laughs> well, I'll turn on the TV now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the SVG TV, Miss SVG Evening News. And I am not Mr. Khalil Kato. A state of emergency has been declared in SVG, as there is now a scarcity of tight pants on the local market. All over the country, women are in a state of shock, as they say the men have been buying up all the tight pants, and there is none left for them. Musa store owners say they can hardly keep up with the demand from the men. Yes, we had lots of tight pants, but apparently all the gentlemen have been buying them out. I don't think I have any more right now, but we will be getting. One store owner say, the men have become so desperate, they are even taking up pum pum shorts. A guy came in the store and he asked if we have a tight pants. I tell him, no, only we have a pum pum short. Then he said, no problem, but we will uh, get uh, tight pants soon. In other news, the Prime Minister is giving Vincentians the assurance that everything is progressing smoothly with the construction of the Argyle International Golf Course. Sorry, uh, sorry, that should be the Argyle International Airport. The Prime Minister says that very soon, Vincentians overseas, even those in Canada, will not feel so bad when they get deported because they will be touching down on a brand new international golf, sorry, airport. <laughs> Meanwhile, authorities are urging citizens to be on the lookout for an increase in deportees around this time in the carnival season. Deportees can be identified by their overseas or foreign look, dress and smell with an accent that is a mixture of Canadian, Jamaican, Trinidadian, and Vincentian. If you suspect you are dealing with a deportee, be calm. Simply ask them when they are returning overseas. If they respond by saying, sometime next month, or they have some time here and they are organizing some documents, you are dealing with a deportee. We caught up with the future Prime Minister of SVG and he has a special message for all these deportees. Pack your bags and go back to where you come from. In more news, we're following a developing story now. One private investigator from Jamaica says he has uncovered evidence in St. Vincent that could free Vibes Cartel from prison. Vibes Cartel, a.k.a. World Boss, has been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams, although the body of Lizard has never been found. This private investigator from Jamaica says he has found evidence here that Lizard is still alive. Yeah, they need to free up World Boss. Or them to charge World Boss for your crime, and the man's still alive, eh? Lizard, dear Vince, you enjoy himself and do the dog. Come and show the lizard. Come and lizard. Lizard, lizard, lizard. 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 <laughs> Meanwhile, in other news, expectations are high for a large amount of horn, boot, and tabanka for this carnival season. Thus, the Honorable Delroy Fireman Hooper has called for a national rum meeting for stakeholders to discuss how they plan to meet the demand for rum by those who will be affected by boat, horn, and tabanka. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now take a word from our sponsors and we'll be right back. Pack your bags and go back to where you come from. You can have it all. A business, vehicle, property. 
but it takes one disaster and you can end up with nothing. Thankfully, there's Metrocent General Insurance Company Limited. For over 45 years, we've been protecting your dreams so you can go on living. Visit our office in Falls Avenue, speak to one of our agents, and find out which of our solid insurance packages will put you back here after this instead of here. You're guaranteed the best rates, security, and peace of mind with Metrocent General Insurance Company Limited. We've got you covered. Cut, 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 cut the ads, cut the ads, cut the ads. Ladies and gentlemen, we cut our commercial break short to bring you breaking news. Tragedy is unfolding in the community of Green Hill. It is reported that around 6 p.m., a minibus carrying 27 passengers plunged headfirst into a huge pothole and has not been seen since. A rescue team is already on the scene, working to locate the missing bus and looking for possible survivors. Yeah, um, well, I, we, we got a call up about um, going to do five or somewhere there. This is a, a, a bus, some bus, um, it is rumored that uh, um, Tapa Airlines, one of them bus. Um, go down in, in a pothole and we actually just trying to get it started. We've been working, working, you know, me and, um, and, and, and you have some men on, on, on the situation here. Um, we've been hearing people, people um, shouting from down in the hole. We actually, we can't really see it's dark, you know, we've been, we, I, I, we send a rope down and stuff and... Hold on, hold on! Oh God! And, um, well, you know, in, 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 in this, this pothole situation, um, it's becoming a, a, a pretty pro big problem here. So, you know, we ask it, anybody who happen to see a vehicle, uh, happen to jump in a pothole and of this magnitude, you know, you can call 1 800 hole your own. And that's the hotline for um, our rescue team to come and, and rescue you. And right now, I can still hear people shouting in the back there. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta get, 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 get back on this because we wanna make sure everybody is, is safe. An expert team from the U.S. is already en route to Green Hill to assist. Experts say that because of the large size of this pothole, they will have to find a black box to locate the box. They are trying to see if they can get a ping from the black box. We will follow this developing story. Meanwhile, in your Carnival Health News, health authorities are warning Vincentians to be careful that what they consume this Carnival season is proper. Authorities are advising persons consuming salt fish to follow the three-step safety protocol. Soak it, soak it, soak it good. If the salt fish is dirty, please dispose and press the red button. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health says while they are handling the chikungunya disease, a new disease in pigs is threatening Vincentians. Here is a representative from the Ministry of Health to explain. We are tracking this new disease, this new disease for the year 2020-14. It is called pig ingonia. Pig ingonia is a disease that makes your belly swell. You understand me? And that makes it smell very stinky. And the result is, of the finish, you will become a holy holy. Meanwhile, authorities are sequen seeking to quarantine two Vincentian men already suffering from pig and gunia disease. This man has type 1 pig and gunia disease, which features an enlarged stomach area. Meanwhile, this man suffers from type 2 pig and gunia disease, characterized by rapid and severe hair loss. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That has been the evening news. Enjoy the rest of Miss SVG.